For me, the real heroes of history aren't the conquering kings, the winning warriors, the empire builders. No, they are Mr. and Mrs. Ordinary who did something extraordinary that changed the way we live today. So forget for a moment your Caesars and your Joan of Arcs and think instead of Eluda Equiano, Jemima Nichols, Percy Pilcher. No, not Pilchard, Pilcher. Percy was an aviation pioneer who died trying one of his gliders. But he wasn't the first, not by a thousand years. The first recorded case in Britain of a pilot was a monk called Aylmer from Malmesbury Abbey in Gloucestershire. He built himself a pair of wings, climbed to the top of the Abbey Tower, and then it's fair to say things didn't go quite to plan. said that Aylmer glided for 200 metres and once his broken legs had mended he wanted to try again but the abbot forbade it. Courage takes more forms than physical courage. Hugo Eckner was a German airship designer and in 1936 he built an enormous airship that was 250 metres long. That's as long as this field. It was the pride of Nazi Germany and he was being pressured to name it after their leader, Adolf Hitler. But Eckenberg was no fan of the Nazis, so he refused, brave man. Instead, he named it after the late president, Hindenburg. Germany didn't produce safe, inert helium gas, so instead they filled it with a highly explosive hydrogen. It ferried hundreds of passengers across the Atlantic in great luxury. It even had a smoking room. In 1937, she came into land in New Jersey in the USA, and it's thought an electrical spark started the fire that destroyed Eckner's creation in an astonishing 31 seconds. Well, after a spectacular disaster like that, people were convinced that airships were dangerous. And that's one of the reasons why we fly in aeroplanes today. One spark changed the course of history. And as for defiant Hugo Eckner, he denied us the wonderful headline, Adolf Hitler's crushed and burned.